It is the international system of currency which determines the totality of life on this planet. That is the natural order of things today. That is the atomic and subatomic and galactic structure of things today. And you have meddled with the primal forces of nature. And you will atone. Just a welcome to new people to my channel. Um, the most recent are a few fine Christians who've found interest in my taking a part of FFRF, Freedom From Religion Foundation. You know, if you go back a few years ago, I never would have thought that I would have common ground for so many conversations with people who are of faith, but I do because not only have I learned some humility in the last several years watching the atheist skeptic communities implode, but uh, also now I'm in Canada, no matter where in the free world you are, I'm sure you're experiencing this where government is trampling rights and in Canada, uh, I think we're in literal danger of becoming a fascist or communist government up here, depending on which way the wind blows after power is secured. And so freedom and liberty is my priority. First, first principles, all of the rest of it swept aside. I'm no, I'm more concerned now about a person's character when it comes to whether they respect another human being and the choices that they make rather than the conclusions they come to about, you know, our existence in the universe. Those are bigger questions and it's great for conversation. I, I know they're very important to people, but the here and now is my first priority. Not just as an individual, but as a father, a brother, a son, a friend. And, you know, the sense that if you don't know in Canada, recently they arrested the one federal party leader who is opposed to lockdowns and restoring the Constitution. Uh, they released him later, but it was a targeted arrest for his political views. And uh, the excuses that are being made, if, you know, at first... Uh, we recommend a mask, then it's, uh, you have to wear a mask, but we'll have medical exemptions. And now just everyone is wearing a mask everywhere all the time. It was two weeks to flatten the curve. It's been, uh, you know, we're going on to a year and a half now. And of course, the pressing of experimental medicine and, and who knows what to come in these vaccines, despite the fact that we have no long-term testing. And there's plenty of reasons to worry because people are already having problems. Um, the most recent thing there is that even the World Health Organization, until they re-edit it for political reasons, I'm sure, has posted on their own site that children and adolescents, they recommend against getting vaccinated. That is because people are having heart problems. Uh, there are a whole slew of health issues that if you are not aware of, then your doctor has not done their job. And particularly if you've already had it and had your own antibodies, and they still recommended that you get a vaccine without telling you about that and the changes that that makes to your risks and potential consequences to your future, then, I mean, we can't trust these doctors because they're like the rest of us in the sense of so many of us just go along with everything. So if you're new to the channel, <laughs> expect that this is going to be where I go. I essentially have, you know, a little bit of comedy that I throw on here try and lighten the mood in these dark times, dark humor, but I, I, I break down politics and I also talk about how it affects our, our culture. So I'll be uh, talking sometimes about movies or TV shows, but always these are the same realm to me, our culture, our society, our mindset, the politicization of science, the, the conditioning through disinformation, uh, the cajeling of powers through tech, through media, uh, government and these unelected bodies that are now making the decisions for our societies and how we have basically fallen asleep. And I don't know how long it's going to take for us to wake up and what's going to be left by the time we do. But I am a voice who says that if you want to tell me something is going to be injected into people's bodies, particularly mine or my daughters, who's under my protection, you have to do the work 
you want to take away people's freedoms, first you have to give the support, not later. Computer models, assurances, talking about experts means nothing to me. Because freedom is not something, my freedom is not something that comes with your approval. I don't require your approval. I already have freedom and I will fight for it. I will stand up for it at every turn. And if you're not willing to do that, I think that you've forgotten everything our country was founded on. So if you're willing to take part in that fight and stand up, welcome to the channel. This is Mr. Dragonbeard. Mr. McKinley phone to confirm your meeting tomorrow. Strep throat. No, some kind of virus. What's going around? Asian flu. Good one. <laughs> What is your motto here? Boys, inform on your classmates. Save your hide. Anything short of that, we're gonna burn you at the stake? Well, gentlemen, when the shit hits the fan, some guys run and some guys stay. Here's Charlie facing the fire and there's George hiding in Big Daddy's pocket. And what are you doing? You're gonna reward George and destroy Charlie. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. I don't know who went to this place. William Howard Taft, William Jennings Bride, William Tell, whoever. Their spirit is dead, if they ever had one. It's gone. You're building a rat ship here. A vessel for seagoing snitches. And if you think you're preparing these minnows for manhood, you better think again. Because I say you are killing the very spirit this institution proclaims it instills. What a sham. What kind of a show are you guys putting on here today? I mean, the only class in this act is sitting next to me. And I'm here to tell you, this boy's soul is intact. It's non-negotiable. You know how I know? Someone here, and I'm not going to say who, offered to buy it. Only Charlie here wasn't selling. Sir, you're out of order. Out of order? I show you out of order. You don't know what out of order is, Mr. Trask. I'd show you, but I'm too old. I'm too tired. I'm too fucking blind. If I were the man I was five years ago, I'd take a flamethrower to this place.